Now the shape we're going to go for on her head is, like with all terriers, a brick shape. It's a little bit different than, say, your Carrie Blue or any of your other terriers. Um, because we leave what I call the crown on the top of the head, and this is unique to the Wheaton Terrier. But what this serves to do is lengthen the length of her head. But we still want to have a nice brick shape from the side of the head down to the muzzle. We don't want to have big poofy cheeks or anything that's distracting. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got this vet wrap in her beard um, to keep her face dry because she does like to drool. So. If you're working on a dog for a show or a competition and you want to keep the face dry, you can just section the hair off and put that wrap in it to keep it out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead, comb all this hair down. I'm going to use my comb to lift the crown. And I'm going to take my hand like this. I'm going to use it to push the crown and the ears forward so I can get an idea of what I'm working with. You always want to trim the head and keep in mind where those ears are going to sit because as the ear comes forward when the dog's alert, it's going to really change the shape of the head if you're not careful. From the side, we should have a straight line from the nose through the skull up to the tip of our crown. There's a couple different points that you want to aim for when you're doing the head. They're kind of like little um, guidelines. And so the first thing I do after I do my cheeks is I comb this beard down and I hold it in my, fa or in, uh, my hand. And I'm going to make just maybe one, two, three snips right on the head, pointing up towards the crown. And I'm going to comb that up. And keeping in mind it's going to be shorter here and gradually lengthen towards the top of the head. And what we're doing is we're building this hair up. Her natural head is right here. So if you're going to just visualize how much hair is actually here. But just make a couple more snips to flatten this area out. And if you're unsure of where this fall starts, if you take your thumbs, you can feel these two little soft spots. And the brow bone is right here. So the fall starts right at the brow bone. You don't want it to be any farther back. And from here, so I've got this length where I like it. I'm just going to go ahead and blend in these little corners. You don't want to take a lot out. You just want to even it up so it flows nicely into the cheek. You don't want to expose the soft spots or the dips. 